be like it didn't really change the bench and they we felt we were getting enough offense in the game that uh, that wouldn't necessarily disappear that we would be all right and in some ways it doesn't matter i mean we, we've got a, a game that we're trying to play as consistently as we possibly can and that isn't dictated by the score so we were all right early on was there maybe i know you said you were pleased but was there just finding the legs after traveling? Yeah, I, I, I thought the first period was even. I think, I mean, we had some chances, a bit bit sluggish, maybe for both teams. The second period, I thought we were actually pretty good. Like, we got 15 shots blocked in the second, and that would, would get some of those through. You're going to get some more action on them. So I think we were in the right end of the ice, and then the third, we started to get the puck through to the net a little bit and moved a little bit better to do that. But the, you know what? Like... They played hard, and and they checked hard, and they and they closed gaps, and they blocked shots, and they worked they worked hard. So I didn't at any point on the bench thinking that you know we're, we're underplaying because we're not up by three or four. There, the other team played hard, so that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a tight game. Kevin Stenland, Ryan Lomberg, two yeah. goal scores. Just what can you say the importance of that depth scoring and receiving contributions? Well, it was important. Um, they've been good for us all year. They've done really important things, but their last game they didn't love. So important for them to come out and be difference makers tonight and they also need to do that for themselves I mean they work hard they finish checks they battle Kevin does a lot of penalty kill for us so those guys got to get a good feeling every once in a while too so scoring the game winner will, will do that for Kevin what do you think of uh, your team's bounce back after they get the lead there in the third period? yeah like like you said I, I I wasn't down on the way that we played at all I thought San Jose played a good game and, and you're not going to get an easy game out of any team in the NHL when they play as hard as they did so we got a couple of bad breaks, I think, on that, and then, um, but we weren't really, we didn't change our game. We played the exact same game we had been playing five minutes before, in part because we were, were pretty confident with it. Third start for Anthony Stollers this season. Yeah. What did you make of his performance, and yeah. did he be okay after that collision? Yeah, he, he, he had some tough angle pucks and some deflections go to the net that his size really helped him on. And we were worried because he got a stick across the neck on that play, and uh, but he bounced back and finished the game and shut the door. Straight wins, 10-4-1 to start the season, and you've had to manage everything yep. without two of your top defensemen, and of course, Sam Bennett for some of those games. Right. How encouraging is your team's start? We, start? I think we have a good template, Katie. Like I think we have a good understanding of the style of game that we're going to play, and the two defensemen that are out, are, and, and when Sam Sam's out, I mean, those are three big pieces for sure. The defensemen in play so darn hard that. The, the talent gap was mitigated. Like, Mahur and Belinskis were really good tonight, right? They, they played very, very hard. So, I mean, when those two guys come back, clearly they have to go in the lineup. Somebody's going to have to come out, but there's nobody on our blue line that deserves to come out. Okay. Uh, I mean, we got the win. I mean, we stuck with it. Uh, it's a bit of a low-energy game. I mean, it's tough uh, traveling to the West Coast with the time change and everything, but, I mean, uh, it's good. To, no bad wins in the NHL, and you know, we grinded. Your goal, yeah. uh, your 100th of your career. What is yeah. the significance of that milestone for you personally? Ah, feels good. 100 goals in the NHL is an uh, accomplishment. I mean, uh, never even thought a kid you'd even make that. I mean, you always believed in yourself, but there's some chance of even making the NHL for a lot of kids. And I'm just lucky to be playing hockey and lucky to score goals in the NHL for sure. What was the difference in that third period compared to the first two in your mind? Uh, I think we got some energy. I mean. Uh, we had a couple of breakdowns they scored on, but I think it uh, shows the resilience of our group. I think came back and uh, got a couple of big power play goals, and it was nice. What was the mindset after they take the lead in that third period on the bench? What, what's kind of the feeling, and how are you guys able to get the momentum back? Yeah, I think, I mean, uh, when they scored a the couple of goals, it was tough, but I think we were calm. We've been in this situation before. We're a composed veteran team, I think, and... I mean, uh, we just said we'll stick with it and try and get another one. Five straight wins, 10-4-1 and one on the season. You've had to do that without your two top defensemen and Sam Bennett missing for part of that. Just what's impressed yeah. you most about the resiliency and just the overall part of your team? I think everyone's stepping up. I think uh, we have a lot of guys in and out of the lineup, and everyone's playing well. Guys are playing their offside. I mean, different line mates, and I mean, just uh, every win is kind of a total team win. Everyone's contributing to different way and it's kind of awesome to see everyone's uh, familiar with each other and it's nice. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, yeah, they got a couple of bounces with them uh, and we show great character to, to bounce back and, and show what a good team we are.
you were one of the goal scorers. Uh, just what can you say of the importance of secondary scoring, getting contributions from up and down the lineup? Yeah, that's kind of a team we want to be. Uh, we want to roll four lines. Uh, everyone can contribute, uh, and that's a big goal, so it was nice to do it. Five straight wins. What is, what's been the biggest factor in terms of just the overall consistency in your team? At this point? Yeah, we're just trying to try to play our game every night, uh, every shift, uh, every minute. It just uh, it bounces our way now, and we just got to keep going. Can you take me through your goal, sort of what you saw on the play and how you saw it? Well, we, we did a good job down low, uh, getting in puck and then get up to the D, and then I just find a little area uh, in the middle right there and, and got a tip on it. So uh, it was a uh, good goal at a good time. What was the mindset? What was the feeling on your bench when they take the lead with two quick goals in the third period? How were you able to respond and, and get two quick goals of your own? Well, we know our, our strengths in the team, and, and we know we can score in, at any time. So. We're uh, we're confident. Uh, we just gotta keep working, and and we did that, and we went went. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it.